Okay, so we're done with our poly painting. The difference between a program like ZBrush and a 3D program like Maya, let's say, is that in ZBrush, when we apply textures directly to the mesh, that's why it's called poly painting. We're painting the polygons. All the color information is embedded where the geometry is. So every single polygon square has color information attached to it. So what we need to do next, we need to export our texture map outside of ZBrush so it can be edited in programs such as Photoshop. Notice that in our texture map, we have no texture. The very first thing we have to do is to check that we have UVs. I know this mesh right here has UVs. However, I can double check by going to the UV map menu under tools. And as long as I have the delete UVs and the morph UVs buttons available to me, that means that this mesh right here has UVs. Second, we need to assign a UV map size. This mesh right here came with a UV map of 6,000 pixels. Next step, we're going to go to our texture map. And what we're going to do is we're going to extract the color information from the mesh onto a new map. We're going to do that by going to create new from polypaint. What ZBrush is going to do, it's going to extract all that color information, create a new map based on the UVs. Notice that the width and the height are 6,000. However, this texture map lies inside of our texture map menu right here. We need to export this outside of ZBrush. If we go to our texture menu, notice that our map is not in there. What we're going to do is we are going to go, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our texture map menu and we are going to click on clone texture. What this will do, if you notice right here on the left hand side, it will export that texture map onto our texture menu. So if we go to our texture menu, you will notice that now our texture map, it's in here. So if I click on this texture, our texture is selected. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to export. It's going to give us an option of where to save it. The format by default is PSD, but you can select JPEG, PNG, BPM, or TIFF. We're going to leave it as PSD. And as soon as I save it, you will get this warning image channels. This image contains material index embedded within each pixel. They are referring to the poly paint that is embedded in the mesh. And it's going to ask you if you want to save the material index as a separate channel. I'm going to say no. Now I'm going to check on the texture and you will notice that the texture has been saved in the correct folder. And this is how we export the texture so we can manipulate it outside of ZBrush.